I am the daughter of European refugees. So I deeply sympathize with the plight of the unaccompanied children coming into the United States from Central America. And the 50 million refugees we have in the world today, 50 million. Why are there so many? Population explosion, climate is capricious, flooding and droughts happen more often, and they're more severe when they happen. They disrupt food production and distribution, and they can wipe out entire population centers. We have enormous challenges. And if we want to help, we know we have to do this with finite resources. Fortunately, we do have one abundant, renewable resource that can make our aid efforts radically more effective. And that resource is a flood of big data and our capability to make sense of it like never before. It's time to reimagine how we use these resources. Here's how big data, already being collected, can profoundly change the world. We can now forecast potential humanitarian health care crises. We can understand the environment of a population and predict triggers. When is the temperature going to spike or plummet? What infectious diseases are going to pass through? An algorithm spotted the Ebola virus nine days before the World Health Organization announced it. We could have used that time. We could have put simple precautions into place to contain the spread of that disease early on. We can now identify and rank the value of possible responses. For example, what preventative measures are optimal to contain the spread of Ebola? What would have been the impact of reining in the activities of infected individuals? or getting people to use gloves when they were handling dead animals. We can learn how feasible each of these are and what the likely outcomes are. And if there's a problem with any of these actions that we can take, we can learn that and we can adapt with analytics. We can understand the people we aim to help. This is fundamental specifically around the dynamics of trust. Last week in Africa, eight people were killed by a mob because of misunderstandings. The remedy to this problem is trust. And we could have avoided this tragedy. We could have used analytics to identify regional tribal leaders who were trusted in that community and sent them in before anybody else went in to dispel the fears and the misbeliefs, the misunderstandings. We can collaborate globally to share and improve health care. In 2012, the State Department distributed a white paper on how to train nurses, and it called for an ever-evolving best practices curriculum curated by experts and distributed via the cloud. On average, it takes 17 years for a medical insight to go through peer review and be adopted as a medical best practice. Boston Children's Hospital is collapsing that time, and they're becoming borderless with open pediatrics. It's a social learning platform it uses analytics and social networking capabilities. It's available to doctors and nurses. It enables them to collaborate. It's being used in over 100 countries on six continents. It's open, 
It's free. It's happening now, real time. Games. Let's talk about games. Serious games come from the video gaming industry, but they're being used to train healthcare providers. And we can put an underlying layer of big data into these games to enable them to be so sophisticated that they can replicate complex medical scenarios. A doctor or a nurse can use these games to practice until they attain mastery on a new technique, and they can make their first, their fatal mistakes on virtual patients. Because healthcare threats vary regionally and seasonally, serious games like these can be custom curated and delivered to specific individual practitioners based on the patient scenarios and cases that they're going to be treating. Real time, not 17 years. Let's follow the noble example set by Boston Children's Hospital. Let's harness this abundant, renewable resource and be ahead of the next healthcare crisis. Let's collapse 17 years into real time to improve everybody's health, even the refugees. Let's imagine a future where analytics is an integral part of our healthcare. Thank you.